Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again. Welcome to PO Box opening number two. And this is stuff from the last two months or month and a half. It's been a little while since the first PO Box video. I now have several packages here, which I'm really excited to show you. So let's just crack on. I'm probably gonna get the most sort of irrelevant one done first, I guess you could say. Uh, one that isn't specifically retro consoles, but it's still some gaming goodness. So this was sent to me by My Geek Box. Obviously there are a lot of different um, sort of like monthly subscription boxes out there, but these guys contacted me and said, do you want a free t-shirt every month in exchange for showing this in a video? And I said, yup, I need clothes. So yeah, first thing we've got here is a Call of Duty Skull glass. Now, I don't care about Call of Duty, but I do care about drinking liquids. It's gonna need to go in the dishwasher because it is like incredibly smudgy, but yeah, that's still pretty impressive. And I don't think it looks exclusively Call of Duty. It just looks a little bit gothic. So I'm quite happy with that. That's quite cool. Um, here's the t-shirt. It's a Pit Boy or Pit Boy Fallout t-shirt. Uh, Pretty certain it's Pit Boy, but yeah, that's a pretty cool t-shirt. It's a nice blue t-shirt. It's, again, if you don't know what Fallout is, I think it's still kind of like a cool retro t-shirt. Most people do know what Fallout is, so. Um, we now have a, a leathery looking diary, which is quite cool, actually. This is obviously to do with Game of Thrones. There it is. Let's quickly open this and see what the paper is like. Oh, well, I've just ruined the side of the book. Don't open with a pair of scissors. <laughs> uh, it's got, sort of got like a red edge on the paper and I've just scored down it and uh, yeah, slightly ruined it. But wow, yeah, that looks really, really nice. And it is actually super um, high quality. That is very, very nice. I'm not actually sure how much these boxes are. There's nothing in them. Um, I'll put the price up on the screen, so I'm not sure. Um, but if it's around sort of 20 pounds, then it can't be 20 pounds, it's got to be more than that. But yeah, this is really, really nice. It's just like a diary memo uh, type looking thing with a sort of retro-y, vintage looking um, paper color scheme. So yeah. We then have a Game of Thrones mug. Now, Game of Thrones isn't something that I have watched yet. However, we're just about to start it. Um, but fortunately, I'm British and this mug is bloody huge. And I do like my tea, so I'm 100% gonna be drinking that. And it's a completely officially licensed thing. This, I really, really don't care about, uh, Dorbs. It's a, a big headed toy thing. Uh, looks a little bit like Stuart Ashen. For those of you who watch Ashens, uh, you'll get why. <laughs> because um, Simon Pegg is constantly um, harassed by Stuart fans. It's just a little oversized Dorbs. And last but not least, the Game of Thrones Stark Sigil, Sigil USB flash drive in this little sort of uh, matchstick looking box. And it's just the head of what I imagine is one of the sort of sigils of Game of Thrones. Well, that was pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but if you want to check out my geek box, I'll leave the link to their stuff in the description. Next up, we have this here lovely brown envelope which is come straight from the UK so let's go ahead and open this straight to the PO box which is good obviously okay so inside we have a letter letters are good I really like letters so dear Elliot this fake game came bundled with one of my eBay purchases I do not need this game so I thought you would do you'd be the best person to donate this to I played it once and the games on it are really bizarre so play at your own risk, enjoy Calvin. Now, I actually know Calvin. I bought something off eBay from him about two years ago. Honestly, it was before my channel had, you know, even a, I think like five digit in subscribers. So it was a, a long, long time ago. And I bought something from him and obviously he then had my address. And a couple of days later, I received um, a game from him because he'd saw the thing that he sold me in a video. So big thank you to Calvin. Um, this looks really, really cool. Um, I'm probably not going to play it in this video because these sorts of things um, typically deserve their own video, especially if they've got loads of obscure games on it. So thanks very much, Calvin. I will enjoy playing that. Next up, we have a letter from Nederland. I presume that's going to be Netherlands. Maybe that's Netherland in 
Dutch, Nederland, but um, okay, let's see what is inside here. Excuse the squeaky chair, by the way, these things are only cheap from Amazon. Okay, right. Oh, I know what these are. So I made a video fixing this Game & Watch and a gentleman from the Netherlands reached out to me and said, would you like a, um, a 3D printed battery cover? And I said, absolutely. So look, he sent me a bunch of them uh, because this didn't come with a, um, a battery cover. What a blimmin' legend. Um, I remember he said uh, some of them aren't very good. Uh, so he, he redid them to get a slightly stronger latch or something like that. So a uh, big thank you to him. Uh, what was his name? Oh my god, I'm really, really sorry. He hasn't put it on here. I'll put it up on the screen. So big thank you to you for sending those out to me. Uh, really, really cool guy. So before we get onto the thing that I'm really, really excited about and you've probably clicked on this video for, let's check out this. Now this wasn't actually sent to me. Um, I recently went to Play Expo with my girlfriend Emily. You'll see a vlog about that in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, I bumped into Matthew. Big thank you to Matthew. He's been supporting the channel for a very, very long time. Uh, so yeah, I bumped into him and he said to save a little bit on postage and just make things a little bit easier. Uh, he wanted to give me this. Now this is a wireless link. It's an unofficial one released by a company called Majesco. So one of the things Matthew said about this is uh, that it works with any game. Um, one of the things that the Nintendo, the official wireless Nintendo receivers did, they only worked with specific games, which isn't very good because you know, if you bought them, you didn't get full support across all of the games and titles. So you'd have to bring two so that when you play one game, you can use the expensive thing that you've been buying or saving up to buy. But then you have to bring your link cable for everything else. So I don't know why, but Majesco jumped to the rescue and brought out this. It works on both the SP and the GBA. Obviously, it won't work on the Game Boy Micro, uh, but I'm excited to see if this works. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, I'll save it for, the own, for its own video. Thanks very much, Matthew. It was a pleasure to meet you. And uh, yeah, I look forward to checking this stuff out. And last, but not least. Now, a very, very big thank you to Chris for sending this out to me. I actually have been wanting to buy this from Chris for such a long time. Uh, he's been in my Retro Future community group and uh, that's how I knew he had this. Now, although this is by far the rarest console I own in my collection, doesn't mean it's worth a lot. I saw one of these on eBay uh, a little under a year ago, boxed for £140 um, and the guy had initially listed it for like 500 quid and no one bought it, it ran its course on eBay, no one bought it, he reduced it to like 300, no one bought it, reduced it to 200 and I think it just went down and down and down and down and down until it got to like 140 being the lowest uh, and then he just pulled it off the website. So you know, four or five months it was up there, nobody wanted it. I offered him like 50 or 60 and he wasn't willing to take it. So just because this is rare, doesn't mean it's worth anything or it's highly sought after. Um, so yeah, just wanna make that clear. Um, and a big, big thank you to Chris for giving this to me. Um, I did say that I was gonna do a repair video on this as a sort of a, a thank you. So it's something that he can watch and enjoy uh, in return for sending this to me and taking it out of his collection to give to me. Uh, so hopefully I'll do that justice for you, Chris. But yeah, I'm quite excited. Really went all out on the, uh, the wrapping. Oh my God, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, so this is a fake Game Boy. This is an, apps, an actual Game Boy hardware clone. Can you believe it? And I can, I can immediately see that the screen um, has, a, it has a burnt polarizer on it. So that's pretty good, of course, because I can fix that quite easily. Now, it's not in a very good condition, for some reason, it's got like loads of sort of um, marks around the side where it looks like it's been like prized open with a toothpick or something. Uh, but yeah, very, very interesting. It's got sort of gamete uh, sliding doors on the back um, and it's got a cartridge in here. Golden four in one. What is that big groove across the top? Really, really awesome. Um, I'm super looking forward to doing a, a video on this. Uh, it's got a contrast wheel on the top and on and off and everything. Uh, he said it doesn't work 
um, with anything other than a DC in, which I don't have. So I'm super excited to, uh, to see what the crack is with this. Um, honestly, a huge, huge thank you to Chris for sending this out to me. Um, as I said, by far the rarest thing in my collection now. So that has been a very, very successful um, episode of P.O. Box opening. I don't expect you guys to send me stuff. If you do, obviously I'll show it in a P.O. Box video. Um, if it's worth its own video, then you'll see it in a future video as well. Big thank you to everyone who sent me stuff and thank you to you for all watching. And uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.